Hello there YouTube. Today um I got a video out to you guys about me um brushing my iPod making it look like a brush aluminum. And that was the first part. This you could call the second part, um but not really because I changed my materials and it's just the final product what it looks like. Um so yeah, here it is. If you can see that well, let me zoom out. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. You can barely see the iPod logo now. Sounds like I did it too much. You could barely see it. Like in real life. See that? Brush looming look. Looks really nice. I mean, most of the scratches are gone. So, yeah. Um. Oh, let me get this out right now. Just left a little bit of tape so I don't scratch the antenna. I still scratch it though because the tape broke off. Um, Alright, let me show you what I used. In the first video, I showed you that I used the Scotch Bright um, sponge right here. Well, I stopped using that and then um, somebody told me to use, they were using something green and I saw something green under my kitchen cabinet. So I got this, didn't really work, too long, then I got sanding paper, you can see that, very fine, Turn it focus, there you go, and I found it in my garage, I still have, there's a brand, Norton, all purpose sanding, just a size, um, so yeah, it's very, for light sanding between Stainless sealer. I mean, I used it for this, so it worked fine. And it's you're done in like ten, five to ten minutes. Ten if you want it perfectly. Five if you just want a fast look. You're done in five minutes or ten. I mean, pretty easy. With this, with these two, it would have taken you ten days to finish. But I got done again. Just trying to make this a short vid, but it looks really nice. Oh, oops. Well, okay. <laughs> More scratches. Um, so you can see I have a big dent in there. Right on top of there. There you go. Right on top of the apple. Just a big dent. See so brush aluminum look. Looks really nice. Um, so yeah, quick video on this. And I did scratch my antenna because I put tape on it. But then the sanding paper ripped through the, through the tape. So there you go. It's kind of scratched. But... That's about it. Um, just wanted to show you that. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and rate. Have more product coming in, and yeah. Again, here's the brand of the sanding paper. If you want to go out and get some, or you have your own, nor an all-purpose sanding. All you need is this. This is all I used right here. This size. It is the size of my knife, as you can see. Not that big. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and if you're gonna try this out on your iPod, do it. I mean, it's not hard at all, and it looks way better if you already have scratches on it. I saw somebody try it on their iPod Touch 2G, which is brand new. Here he had like a couple scratches on it, and he did it. It looks perfect. So yeah, try it out. Thanks. Bye.